floss tube it's Karen Bowen with KEB Studio Creations and it's been a couple weeks I kept coming up with excuses excuses why I couldn't do it um, they seemed like good excuses but it's been two weeks so I'm recording um, and thank you thank you for everyone who's come before everyone who um, let's change the angle let's give you a better angle that's prettier. Um, so everyone who subscribes, everyone who's been here before, anyone who's new, thank you for watching me. I hope you enjoy it. Um, brief life update. This weekend, my husband and I went to the Maryland Renaissance Fair and also visited some friends up in Maryland. That was a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. Tiring, but a lot of fun. Um, I'll insert a few pictures. And um, sorry about the glare on my glasses. That's really bad today. Um, yeah, life update. That was fun. Yesterday was Labor Day here in the U.S. and we just kind of relaxed and recovered. Had dinner with my family. Um, and then last night I found out that, uh, my boss's husband, my boss's son died yesterday and that was sad. And yeah, because his son's only a couple years older than me. I know his son, so it was, it's really sad. Um, so my week's going to be a little crazy at work because my boss won't be there, which was one of the reasons why I was like, oh, I can't do it today, but it's been two weeks. I'm doing it today. Um, but I was having a hard time dealing with that light last night. So I cross-stitched to help me deal with it and read. Those are kind of my go-to. Let's deal with life because I can't deal with it. Um, things. Whatever, I'm losing my train of thought. So let's just move on to starts. Now, this was a start and a finish. It's a cute little poinsettia. Um, yeah. Um, I got it from this one hour cross stitch. I will try to link it in my show notes. I assume I'll be able to find it. It's by Oxmoor House. Never heard of them, but yeah. We'll see if I can find it. Um, so yeah, there's my poinsettia. I'm so sorry. Um, and instead of, uh, the DMC metallic thread, I used, uh, will it focus? No, it won't. Anyways, I used, I think I used Petite Treasure Braid. Anyways, so that was that one. Um, some other Christmas motifs. These ones I just worked on. I didn't finish. Um. So it's a bell and a Christmas tree and it's from A Crossage Christmas, Better, Home, Better Homes and Garden, 1999 and I love this book. Um, and this is the, eh, this is what it come from, came from. So I'm doing the bell and I'm doing the Christmas tree. So the Christmas tree I just need to do the beads and then the bell I need to find some of the colors. They were in kits, so I didn't go searching in the kits. I just used the ones that were in my main collection of floss. Okay. Oh, sorry. Another. Is this a start? I think it was. It's listed as a start, so I assume it's a start. And it's another start and finish. Is this uh, patchwork sort of pumpkin. It was supposed to be plaid, but I got my colors mixed up. So it's still cute. I'll still um, use it for decor in my house, um, but that will not be the pattern that I release in my shop. So I need to stitch it again. Unfortunately, I'm pretty much out of a linen. I do have some more linen, but only a small piece. Not a small piece. It's like 16 inches by eight inches, I think. I was gonna show it to you, but I forgot to grab it. Um, I'm really enjoying stitching on linen, but I don't have a lot. And I'm, I need to not spend money, but I'm really tempted to just go and buy some linen. We'll see what happens. But that was that as well. Next work. Let's try to see if I could hide it. I'll probably cut that out. This is just a small pumpkin. And once again, I forgot to bring what I was going to show you otherwise. But it was my autumn hand towel. So this is just one of the pumpkins on my autumn hand towel. 
um, but I'm teaching a cross stitch class at a local show, sewing shop uh, this month. So this is the test example, or the model, I guess, of what uh, we're gonna have them stitch, or what I'm gonna use to teach them how to stitch. So I'm excited about that. I hope some people sign up and enjoy it. Um, and I also started my plaid acorn. Yay! So I like it so far. And yeah, I've noticed a lot of designers that I watch on FlossTube and even just follow on social media, they don't show anything until it's like released, except for maybe like a short, small sneak peek. And then they, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I like showing my process and maybe, I don't know, maybe I should be more like them. Maybe it adds more surprise, but you get what you get for now. You see my process, my failures as well as my successes. So that's all for starts. Whips. So I pulled out my koala. So this is what he looks like now. And I'll insert a picture of what he looked like last time. So I didn't do a ton of stitching, but I made progress and that was good. And so that was that one. Ah, next one is this. This was my last mania start. Um, it's of my church's Washington DC temple. Um, and that's where I was married. Um, so this is my design and I am working on stitching it. As you can see, I kind of ended with the thread still. Ah, oh, whatever. Anyways, you get the basic idea. Um, so I pulled that out again. I'd had right up here, I had a clipped thread and so I just finally tore it out and started working on it again. Most of this block was done on our road trip in June. So most of that was car stitching and it was, it went by pretty nicely when I was just stitching it in the car. But it is a big block of the same color. But it'll look really good in the end, so that's what matters. Okay. On to my next whip. It's the Linens and Threads Mystery Sal for this year. And I love love this design. I have only started it because I didn't find about, out about it till last month. But that is how much I have. And I will also insert a picture of where I was last week as well as what the project looks like. Okay. Sorry. Uh, that is all my whips. Finishes. Finishes, finishes. Okay. So uh, my husband finished stitching his Harutho, which is, this is based on an image, a digital sticker um, that uh, a friend in his guild designed for him. Um, and then I designed this from that uh, by importing it in and then changing it. Anyways, this is it. Um, I don't know, he might do a little bit more back, back stitching, I'm not sure, but he says it's pretty much done and he hasn't been working on it, so I guess it's done. Um, but yeah, he's gonna put it in a smaller hoop and I think just uh, have it be a hoop, framed in a hoop, whatever. So that's his Haru. And, oh, yes. So sorry. Oh dear. Oh no, it's okay. Mm. This needle minder just went flying and it now has another chip in it. But I already had a chip in it to start out with it. So I've decided to call these ones that have like chips in them and that I need to do stuff with wonky because of Kit and Stitcher. Um, it may have happened because I was watching her, an episode of hers while I was making the signs for these. But anyways, wonky needle minders. I don't know if I'll put them up on my Etsy shop or when, I don't know. I'm still trying to decide to do, decide what I want to do about those. Anyways, let me make a mention to make sure I tag Kitten Stitcher in my show notes. Um, anyways, 
Give me the money, Terry. Um, right, finish. So this is my pumpkins and ghost. I'll insert a picture of where it was last year, last week. I technically could probably show it almost one last year because this part was actually stitched last year. But um, it was started out for my, oh, Cat Sitting on Jacket Lantern series. Um, but I decided to change up this pattern after I'd done these two. So um, I just had this there and I was gonna do something with it. So I decided to add a ghost who's holding a sign that says boo. Let me see if I can get it to focus for you. Yes, no, maybe so. Well, if you want a better picture, go to my um, show notes. I will have a photo there. It's kind of better. Anyways, I had a lot of fun with this. I think the ghost is super cute. Um, at this point, I'm not planning to release anything related to this, um, but you will probably see this ghost show up at some point. It's it. Okay, next, haul. So I don't have anything to show you. Well, I do. Okay. So haul. Um, I got a canopy for um, the festival I had a booth at. Um, so I will insert a picture of my booth as well as I'm going to insert a video that shows like what was inside my booth just for fun so you can see it. Also, uh, the day before the festival, I think it was, a day or two before, um, one of my friends who owns a vinyl shop, um, she brought me a shirt that had my logo on it, and that was super cool. So I'll insert a picture of me wearing that. Okay, so the thing I can show you is dye. So my husband has some designs he's wanting me to design for him, and I designed one yesterday, but then he was like, well, we don't have fabric to dye it on which is true, we didn't have the color fabric he wanted. He wanted a dark blue. So he went and bought these dyes. Now, the ones I bought previously were this kind. Um, and these say for synthetic, but we decided to try them anyways. Why not? So we don't have, uh, we wanted to put, do it on, well, he really wanted it on linen, but we don't have any white linen, like I was saying earlier. Linen, don't have that much, unfortunately. Someday, hopefully soon. But I shouldn't be spending money, so. We'll see. Um, anyways, these two colors. So we just took some scrap pieces of 14 count Ada and dyed them. So this um, says to boil it to, um, oh, to dye it. So he did, with the blue, he did that. So there was this blue and this blue. One he left in longer than the others. It's not a super good representation. You, you can kind of see that this dark, this one's darker. Um, I will have a picture in my show notes, so hopefully you can see better. Um, and then I did the gray, and I just did them in a water bath like I had used for these. Um, so I did the gray, and you can kind of see. Um, this one is my favorite. It was only in for like a minute, but I love the color. I'm definitely gonna have to do every other piece, this color. Anyways, so I think this one was like five minutes, 10 minutes, one minute. But once again, I'll show pictures. And we just had a lot of fun with it. And then the leftovers from these, we uh, froze into ice cubes. So we're gonna be doing some ice dyeing, or at least trying it out see how it goes so that was fun um, and that is all my haul um, next I have a giveaway so I was looking through because I'm a planner in many respects I have a spreadsheet where I track my um, floss tube videos and I was noticing that every four episodes I had a giveaway I had it on my fourth I had it on my eighth this is my twelfth better have a giveaway so you get a wonky, well, you get to enter for a wonky um, 
needleminder. That's the word. Anyways, he's super cute. So like I said before, wonky ones have something on them that's kind of imperfect. So like this one right here, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's a raised part that's kind of rough. So that's why he's wonky. Um, but he's super cute. At least I think so. Um, and comes with the two magnets. You know, you slide this one off, put it on your fabric. Um, so wonky needle minder. Um, to enter the giveaway, uh, be 18 or at least have your parents' permission. Um, what are the other rules? Don't say giveaway. I will delete those comments. Um, what else? Oh, so instead of saying giveaway, say, <laughs> how about your favorite Halloween costume? Um, and then, dang it. I had written down when I wanted it to end, but then I apparently wrote it after I had printed my sheet. So today is the fourth. So next Tuesday will be the 11th. So we will say, um, the giveaway ends the 11th, September 11th, um, and let's say 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or whatever time we are. Daylight Standard, Daylight. I get those too confused. Eastern Time, Eastern United States Time. So if you want this, uh, comment. And this is open internationally because it just is. Um, and I think, I mean, I think everyone should have an opportunity and as long as it won't break me, I'll send things internationally and this won't break me. So cute little one. I, I just keep holding it because I could like a lot of these needle minders. I could just sit and stare at forever because they're so cute. Um, so I will stop with that, but <laughs> sorry, I didn't break it. I promise it's still good. I will set it down gently now. Um, so yeah, if you want to enter, Remember, what's your favorite Halloween costume? Um, and then I have a few shout outs. Um, so, Arth Designs. Um, Amanda at Arth, Design, Arth Designs has so much enthusiasm and so many great ideas, and she's just awesome. She designs patterns, she saves the stitches, she's just super cool. You, could, you should go check her out. Um, Broadway Stitcher, she's super cool too. I've only watched one of hers so far but I definitely plan on watching more because she talks about New York and it makes me really want to go like really, really, really want to go. And I will someday. Um, but it's just fun to see. Um, and she's really cool and she has projects she's working on that you could look at. So anyways, that wasn't a very good summary of who she is, but I know other people have shouted her out. So if you haven't checked her out yet, go check her out. And then I also wanted to call out Misty Purcell because she just released a howling pattern and it's super cute. You should go check her out. Um, and along with that, that was once again, like people just released it and she released some linen too. And she had beautiful linen, but I think it's all sold out now. Um, but talking about howling patterns, I was going to bring these to show you. I will insert a picture. So my, uh, the only howling patterns I have are my cat city on Jack Lantern bookmark series. But last year I started and I'm going, this is going to be, this is going to be my new Witchy Wednesday project now that this is done. Um, I wanted to stitch them all in one and I saw this fabric and I fell in love with it and I got a little too small of a piece, but I think I can make it fit. Um, so I'm going to stitch the whole series of bookmarks on here and then somehow frame it or flat fold it or Priscillify it or something. Um, We'll see. But this is my new one. If you want to stitch along, feel free to. Um, my patterns are on my, in my Etsy shop. There will be a link down below. Um, so yeah, if you want to join me, I don't really have an idea for a tag. Let me think, let me think. KEB Black Cats, and I will put a link down for that. Let me write it down so I don't forget. Black cats. So, if you want to join me and make it a stitch long, fabulous. If not, cool. That's fine too. So, anyways, 
my black cats. I will have them insert a picture so you know what they look like. Um, and these pumpkins are from that. But, oh, I forgot to mention. I was gonna mention this earlier, and I forgot. Let me see if I can find it. Sorry about the crinkling, but I have multiple projects around here. Here we go. So, this small pumpkin that I'm gonna have as part, that's, that's from um, my autumn hand towel, and that is going to be the class project, I am gonna give away as a freebie on my um, blog once I've had the class. So the class is September 18th, so after the class, this will be a freebie on my blog. I thought I'd mention it. I have a couple freebies on there right now. They're just um, kind of patchworky, choose your own color projects, but I will include a link in my show notes to those if you're interested. Is there anything else I should say? Hmm. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Some days I just want to give up. Like last night I was watching, I was watching Misty, I'll be honest. And I was kind of jealous. I was like, she's so awesome. Why am I not so awesome? And my husband's like, you're awesome too. Quit comparing yourself, which I need to remember. But sometimes I start comparing myself and I see people's numbers. Or I feel like they're more popular or their designs are better. But. I just need to remember that my designs are good too. And I look at my designs and I love them. So even if no one else ever loves them, I know that I love them. And that's what matters. Plus, one of you will get down on this. So you'll get to enjoy it too. Love it. Anyways, that's all for me. Uh, remember to enter for the giveaway if you want. Um, subscribe, that would be awesome. But if not, thanks for watching. Bye. And happy stitching. Why did I not think of that? Happy stitching. Let's end this now. Bye.